Neurodegenerative diseases are something that I'm seeing more and more of today. Uh, matter of fact, it's something that's gaining more and more press. It's becoming, again, it's an epidemic with what I call in the epidemic, the epidemic of neurotoxins. Uh, neurotoxins are absolutely at the root of all these neurodegenerative conditions. Conditions like MS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, um, all of these are neurodegenerative. Even autism can be considered a neurodegenerative condition. Um, chronic fatigue can be considered a neurodegenerative condition. So the list goes on and is broadening. However, if you were treating these conditions just covering up the symptoms with medication, that's not really a true treatment at all. You have to understand and get to the cause of the problem. And you've heard me say that on so many videos. Uh, matter of fact, I encourage you to look at other videos such as my MCS, multiple chemical sensitivity video, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. Um, look at what I'm saying in those videos because it plays into these types of conditions. But I want to review something. Because when we look at the cause of these diseases, we're really looking at the bioaccumulation of neurotoxins and something called the no-ono cycle, this inflammation oxidative stress cycle that gets triggered from an exposure to chemicals. Yes, genetics plays a role, meaning that we have susceptibilities to certain toxins, susceptibilities, period, to these conditions. However, the, 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 the genes do not make you sick without the genetic trigger. Something that's become very popular today is called epigenetics. Matter of fact, Time Magazine did a fantastic article on it. What it said was, is that we all have genetic weaknesses. However, it takes environmental trigger, triggers to turn the genes on and off. Matter of fact, there's certain things like methyl donors, vitamin D, and other things that can turn the good genes on and the bad ones off also. Um, so what we're seeing today is a susceptibility or susceptibilities being triggered by environmental toxins. The treatment really looks like this. We have to remove the toxins that have bioaccumulated in the body. But however, we can do that, but if we don't downregulate this vicious cycle of inflammation and oxidative stress, then we will never get the patient well. The body can heal itself, no doubt about it. God has provided us an innate, inborn ability for your body to regenerate and heal. Even the brain, yes, even the brain can heal itself. Don't listen to your doctor, it can. I've seen it even in my own story, in my own life. However, you have to do the toxin removal correctly. So please watch my, watch my videos on heavy metals and biotoxins because we do a different protocol than what you know, most doctors are doing out there and the doctors that I train are doing these protocols as well. However, if you just get rid of the toxins without down-regulating this vicious cycle, you won't get the patient well or you patient will not get well. So look, I encourage you to watch the other videos. Neurodegenerative conditions, yes, look, the body can heal them, but you have to get to the cause. That's the key.